who do you think has been the most influential during that time, LeBron or Jordan? Well, I never put ever put LeBron James a, a, ahead of Michael Jordan uh, under any circumstances. But I must confess, uh, in the aftermath of, of, of George Floyd's killing and all the social justice issues that have taken place, uh, you start thinking about what the nation needs and what have you. It's not to say that Jordan was, was silent or voiceless, uh, because he certainly was not. But LeBron being younger, being a part of today's generation with the advent of social media and beyond, uh, you know, taking into account his reach and his willingness to be a face and a voice uh, to so many issues that are very, very pertinent in this nation, in this nation right now and throughout the world right now, I would have to give him uh, that edge. And I never, ever felt that way before until recently in terms of what's transpired. I always think about pioneers who've led the way and you never want to dismiss their contributions before you take an opportunity to really appreciate and elevate someone else because the pioneers who set the table uh, play a profound role. Jordan making it acceptable. First, it started with Magic Johnson, with him and Larry Bird and Magic Johnson and that magnetic, that magnet magnetic smile and his five championships and being in nine NBA finals and ultimately becoming uh, the incredible businessman that he became once his playing career was over. That paved the way for Jordan to take the world by storm, not just with Air Jordan and the aerial assault and the dynamics that he put forth on the court, but obviously he was the kind of guy uh, that really elevated the NBA's mass appeal, not just appealing to a black audience, but appealing to the masses, uh, which was David, Commission, former Commissioner David Stern's dream, to be quite honest with you, God rest his soul. And so you look at all of those different things and you want to give Jordan credit where credit is due, but then I think about uh, LeBron and uh, think about the, you know Ali in terms of when he donated money for the exhibit at the Smithsonian, the Smithsonian Museum, some of his you know the, the school in Akron and putting the underprivileged kids in Akron, Ohio through school along with their parents and what have you, you know his his philanthropy, his charitable donations, uh, his willingness to give a voice to the voiceless and speaking on some of the issues that he's been willing to speak about. Um, I just right now at this particular moment in time. I would have to say when you look at it in its totality, um, I've got to give it to LeBron James uh, because of what has transpired uh, in, the immediate, in, the, in, the immediate, in the immediate past, per se. I respect that because LeBron James has absolutely led on social issues and has been, um, uh, you know, just because the circumstances are right for that now and we're not as right in Jordan's day. Um, right. You know, there were fewer media outlets. There wasn't social media, so the athlete wasn't as empowered independently as they are today. Nevertheless, LeBron didn't have to choose to be this way. He, you know, he sorry, he didn't have to automatically be this way. He chose to be this way and deserves a lot of credit. I would say that when you bring up Ali, there is a difference. Muhammad Ali was willing to make great sacrifice. And in terms of social justice, that's why he became an icon. When right. the cost started going up, for social justice, Ali was willing to pay that premium. Um, same thing with Kaepernick. Kaepernick was willing to make a sacrifice. And it's been a little bit different for LeBron. His, the, the cost of social activism has not been as high for LeBron as for some others. So I don't think that he resonates as an icon in a social justice way, though he absolutely, the way Ali did, or to a lesser extent Kaepernick does, um, though he absolutely deserves tremendous credit for influence off the court in that way, no doubt. I still say the answer is Jordan here, uh, Stephen A, because 30 years takes you back to 91. Uh, Michael Jordan was, you know, at the time, in the process of exploding the NBA and basketball into a worldwide phenomenon. Whether or not it had the biggest economy, it was the hottest sport and fastest growing sport in the world because of Michael Jordan. Even today, his Jordan brand stuff outsells LeBron's, like his sneakers, five or 10 to one. Even today, and speaking of Jordan Brand, Stephen A., when you talk about the, what, what occurred in the wake of George Floyd's uh, um, murder, what happened right after that? You know who made the biggest corporate um, Jordan. Uh, pledge? Was Jordan. Jordan Brand. A hundred million over ten years. So Jordan became, he exploded basketball. His style was emulated by everyone. Bigs faced the basket now in terms of on-court style because everyone wanted to be like Mike 
Kobe wore 24, one more than Jordan. LeBron wears 23, all that stuff. In addition, he became a billionaire and a team owner. So though the avenues for kind of um, influence were not the same as they are today for players in terms of social justice issues, and maybe Jordan didn't have that temperament that LeBron has anyway. In terms of overall influence on and off the court, I still believe Jordan has had the most in the last 30 years. Well, cer well certainly, I'm not going to dismiss that because I think all your points are points I made in the past, and they're incredibly valid, and I get that. Not to mention the fact that the very brand that LeBron uses to really take his positions um, and really elevate it to another level is the brand that Jordan built, which was Nike. Jordan built that brand. So we have to make sure we give credit to Jordan for that as well. I just think that at this particular moment in time, when we talk about impact, there was a time that obviously I, I always thought that Jordan and others were unfairly maligned uh, for not giving enough of a voice to issues because there are a multitude of ways to skin a cat. And there's so many things that he does behind the scene on such an incredibly behind the scenes on such an incredibly positive level that he should not have been maligned for it the way that people have tried to from time to time. But I think particularly in this day and age when you consider LeBron's willingness to speak out on such issues and how we lean and depend on him so much to give a voice to a lot of different issues, when you're talking about impact, when you're talking about influence, those things can't be ignored either. And obviously, Jordan had a lot to do with facilitating LeBron being able to do that. So if that was a big reason as to why we want to give Jordan that edge, I'm all for that. But nevertheless, in this day and age, anytime an issue comes about, you're literally waiting to hear what LeBron has to say, particularly as it pertains to African Americans in this country, regardless of, of what the situation may entail, because he's that big of a figure. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.